It's safe to say we're all checking ourselves out much more during this pandemic because we've got our heads buried and our computers zooming all day long. Well, guess what? Our very own Dr. Orden is here to discuss how these technology trends are impacting the world of aesthetics. Hey, Dr. O, it's good to see you, man. Ian, how are you, Doc? It's been too long. <laughs> it has, and you look the same as ever. I mean, nothing about you ever changes. <laughs> well, there's a reason for that, Dr. Ian, and you know that. I was checking you out, buddy. You're looking pretty good, but I still have some tips for you. Okay, good. So let's start off talking about what they're calling Zoom Boom in cosmetic procedures. What's that all about? The Zoom Boom is here where we saw such a dramatic increase in all procedures across the board when social media took place. People were looking at their stills. They wanted to look their best when they posted stuff. So we saw a boom in everything. But now... With, with people live streaming real time, creating their own TV shows, it's a whole new playing field. People want to look their best uh, all the time. And guess what? It's not bad for business, my friend. <laughs> so Dr. O, okay, listen, let's be honest. You're one of the most famous plastic surgeons in the country. You got a big practice in Beverly Hills. You go to Dubai. I mean, you're all over the world. What are people requesting in your practice during the pandemic? In the Beverly Hills practice, it's the, the typical menu starting from non-invasive. So we're talking about facials, photo facials, basic skin care to minimally invasive. And obviously, those are the injectables, the Botox to cut those <laughs> frown lines, those forehead lines. I don't have many, do I, Ian? <laughs> and, uh, and enhance the lips. So the fillers, we like to use those for nasolabial lines. We like to use those in the lips. People are coming in for laser treatments. And uh, you know what? Uh, there was a little lapse there and folks got a little hairy during the break. So people fell behind their hair laser tra treatment. So that's another area that uh, we're seeing a boom. But I just wanted to mention TikTok quickly. I mean, I don't know if you're a TikTok user. I'm not, but this is more for the younger generationals, but they have taken this uh, live streaming to a new level. I mean, they're using beauty apps and beauty filters and really morphing themselves to take them to the next level. So I can dial you in there, Ian, if you're interested. But, uh, <laughs> so so what, I'm glad you're looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. So talk about some non-plastic surgical or non-invasive things that people can do to enhance their cosmetics while they're trying to well, zoom out. And I, and I love this question because this is your own little TV production, so treat it like a pro. And it, it's we're going to talk about lighting. We're going to talk about positioning. We're going to talk about background that you have. Having a little Emmy in the back doesn't hurt, right, Ian? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but, but, but first tip, I want to start with the eyes. It's, it's all about your eyes. And when you're, when you're on the screen, people are going to be looking at your eyes. You want to do everything to, to enhance them. You can put ice on your eyes to help those bags and circles. You can use products that have caffeine in them to shrink some of that swelling. I don't know if you've heard me talk about hemorrhoid preparations that are astringents. That's an old Hollywood trick that you can put on your lower lids, <laughs> and that may help as well. But you want front lighting. You want soft lighting. You don't want back lighting, uh, harsh lighting that you know could accentuate some bad characteristics, whether they be bags under your eyes or, or in the neck. Yeah. One more tip that I wanted to get in. And, you know, when you're when you're zooming as part of this zoom boom, if you're doing it on your phone, a little trick you can do, you can get a, a, uh, a pop socket. I don't have one on my phone. You take that pop socket and you attach it on a, a mug. Now, make sure the mug has a little bit of substance and you can put that up and that that will help position you and give you the right angle to create your production. I need now that last one. I actually need that one. So I'm going to invest in that for sure. You can use your Harvard mug. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I got a couple of them. Dr. Oh, hey, listen, man. Thanks as always.